a builder lifts eight slabs from the ground on the back of lorry 1.5 meter high so we can say this is the height and uh, there are eight slabs there are eight slabs and from the ground okay so each slab the weight of each slab is 200 newtons so the weight of each slab is 200 newton means total weight is 200 times 8 so total weight is 1600 newtons and height is 1.5 meters so potential energy we know that mgh and mg we know that it is weight and height so weight total weight is 1600 and height is 1.5 meters so now potential energy would automatically become 1600 times 1 1.5 so this is the potential energy which would become 2400 How much, the question is, how much useful power does the builder produce? And now you can see the time taken is forty-eight seconds. So time taken is forty-eight second. We know that power is potential energy over time. Potential energy is 2400 over time is 48. So, using calculator, you can find that it is 50 watt. Power is 50 watt. So, the correct option is 50. this one. Now number 9, the input power to lamp is 6 watt, the lamp wastes 2.7 watt of energy in 3 seconds. What is the efficiency of the lamp? Okay, so input power is here and the energy energy is here time is here so now we can use these two these two informations these two informations to find out uh, the power so output power i'm gonna put o for output which is energy over time 
so energy is 2.7 and time is 3 second so it is 0 0.9 watt so this is input power and this is your output power so we know that efficiency is What is efficiency? Output power, useful output power. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One second, one second. This output power is not useful because it is wasted. So wasted power is, so this is not useful power. It's a wasted power, which is 0 0.9. So useful output is, 3 minus 0 0.9 which would be our useful output it would be 2.1 because this amount of power is wasted and it is not a useful output power useful output power is this one 2.1 okay over input power so output is 21 and input is sorry 2.1 and input is 3 so it would become oh sorry sorry sorry, sorry. input is 6 I made a mistake Here is six. It, it would become five point one. Five point one over six. So it is five point one divided by six is zero point eight five. So efficiency is. 0 0.85 and our answer is this one. Zero point eight five is the answer. Number ten. A person throws a stone so that it follows the path shown in the figure. Like it's a parabola type of, it's a projectile like situation. In which position does the stone has the most gravitational potential energy? So you can see the, uh, the, the gravitational potential energy is related with the height of the object. The point where it will have the maximum height will have the ma uh, maximum gravitational potential energy. So this point, at this point, it will have maximum gravitational potential energy. Because we know from the formula On a particular height, like the mass is a fixed quantity, G is quite a fixed quantity, and maximum height means maximum potential energy. So the point where, like, let's compare the different positions, A, B, C, and D. D is the lowest point. C is little higher than A and then B. So B is the 
highest point so at this point it will have maximum potential energy piston of area 10 cm square is pushed slowly into a large cylinder containing a gas at a pressure of 10 newton per cm square the pressure of gas remains constant as the piston moves a distance of 0 0.1 meter so let's find out different different uh, let's mark the different positions let's mark different uh, physical quantities this is area which is 10 centimeters square the area of a piston and uh, you can see here is the pressure, which is 10 newtons per centimeter square. And this is the distance, 0 0.1 meter. What is the force of the gas on the piston? What is the force of the gas on a piston? What is the work done by the piston on the gas? Okay. So we know that pressure is force per unit area, like uh, pressure is given, which is 10, and force is and And area given is also 10. So force is equal to 10 times 10. It would be 100. So force is 100 Newton. Okay, now next thing is the work done. Now this is the amount of distance. So work done is force into distance. Force is 100 Newtons and distance is 0 0.10. So it would become 10. So work done is 10 joules. So let's find out the values. Work done is 10 joules. So 10 joules is here and here. And force is 100 newtons. So 100 newtons is here and here. So we can find out this is our possible answer. Number 12. Where is the energy released by the fusion of hydrogen nuclei in the form of helium? So we know that the, for the fusion process, fusion of hydrogen can take place only when there is a high amount of energy available. So high amount of energy cannot be produced like in, 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 a, in a simple, you can say, in a lab. Previously, like few few months ago, it was possible in, uh, uh, it was made possible in, 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 uh, China through uh, some fusion processing lab. 
like there is a plasma like experiment but the the real lab is the lab of stars stars are the are the natural labs for for uh, for the for the fusion process so the core of the sun is the is the original lab for this process okay number 13 a crane lifts a load of 6000 newtons so i'm going to mark this one this one is 6000 newton it means it's a weight weight is 6000 newtons through a vertical height of 15 meters so height is 15 meters vertical distance means height so height is 15 meters and there is a there is a second in through a vertical height of 15 minute 30 15 oh sorry 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 i made a mistake it is actually the time i made a mistake of through a vertical height through a vertical distance of 15 meters old it's this is height i'm a little confused and this is time in 30 seconds 30 seconds is time what is the average useful power during the operation okay so we know that power is actually energy or actually this time it would be potential energy over time and potential energy is mgh and time is time and mg is actually weight so it would be weight into height over time so weight is 6000 newtons height is 15 time is 30 so it would be 6000 times 15 over 30 zero is cancelled this one is goes to 5 so 600 times 5 would be approximately 3000 and it is power so unit of power is watt so our answer is this one let's move to number 14 in number 14 javelin has a mass of 0.8 kg this is mass javelin the javelin is released with 250 joules of kinetic energy what is the speed of javelins so we know that kinetic energy is half mv square kinetic energy is 250 joules mass is 0.8 and v speed is unknown 
So we can move two to the other side. It would become 250 times two is 500, which is 0 0.80 B square. So 500 over 0 0.80, is v square now if we divide it uh, okay we can use calculator one second Now 5,000 or 500 divided with 0 0.8, it would become 625 So overall it would be, okay, now the square root of uh, 625 is 25 only. So the answer is this one. Number 15. Which source releases carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, when generating electricity? We know that greenhouse gases, greenhouse gases are car carbon dioxide, a, green, a greenhouse gas, is released when there is a fossil fuel. A fossil fuel may be a coal, may be uh, petroleum, are so you get so you natural gas so these type of things so look at this nuclear process is not is not producing uh, any kind of uh, any kind of greenhouse gas hydroelectric like the dams are uh, environmental free geothermal is So fossil fuels is the only source of greenhouse gases. A student's number 16, a student starts, a student uses a Newton meter to pull an object horizontally along rough ground. The student multiplies the Newton meter reading by the distance moved by the object. Okay, so Newton meters, is actually measuring the force or weight, like the downward is a force, but right now it's a meter, meter is like, it's a force. Newton meter is used to measure weight, but right now it is horizontal. We would just consider it as a weight. And it is a horizontal. The student multiplies, okay, reading by the distance, okay. Now, and, and it multiplied with distance. So we know that distance times force is actually the work done. And when it is moving horizontally to a ground surface, it actually, it is actually the work done, which is related with kinetic energy of the object. Force into displacement is work done, is actually the work done. And work done in this case is uh, kinetic energy. So work done, and the kinetic energy of the object, and I am sure that it's kinetic energy. 